Okay, let's talk about Fresh Dress. This is another documentary um, about uh, the rise of hip hop and street fashion. So from the gang uniforms of the 70s, uh, you know, the movie The Warriors um, from the 70s, that look in the South Bronx in that era through to the Kangol hats and the Kazal glasses, the run DMC look and the baggy gear of the early 90s, the, the cross colours, the French pr pr uh, Fresh prints kind of look, right up to now, up to the proliferation of rappers' own clothing lines and Kanye West that we know from, from um, you know, contemporary days. Um, it's great. It's great because it's mainly a, a film with a very clear idea of what it wants to say. And what it wants to say is this. If you celebrate looking good or looking fresh, as the movie would say, that works. The mantra is, if you look good, you feel good. Whatever society is throwing at you, taking pride in how you look is a positive thing. So here's a quick clip from Fresh Dress. This is a description of how the New York guys like to do just that, like to take pride in the way they looked back in the 1980s. A guy from Brooklyn would have on clocks, shark skins, Kazal glasses with no lens in it, and a Kangol crease like, I don't know what. That was a Brooklyn cat. He didn't have to say anything. You knew he was from Brooklyn. A guy from Harlem would have on, let's say, a velour sweatsuit. And whatever brand the sweatsuit was from, he would have the sneaker to match. Same with the Bronx. The Bronx was a mix of Harlem and Brooklyn together. Queens, Queens had their own flow, too. I used to go uptown to Apollo, amateur night at the Apollo. You could be in that venue and you know that person's from Harlem, that person's from Queens. You know, you would just know by the way they were dressed. It's actually a CNN production, um, and there's definitely a, a rigor to the journalism, a rigor to the research. It goes way back. I mean, it starts back in the days of African tribal culture and church-going culture of the slave era and the jazz age. So really meticulous. Again, very short running time. I think it's about 82 minutes long, but really packs a lot in there. Helped by a great bunch of interviewees, basically anyone who's anyone who, from the from the music and the fashion industries. First person you see is Kanye West, actually. Um, not just that, it's Kanye West smiling. It's really weird. He just seems really lighthearted and smiley and happy. Admittedly, he's he stood or sat uh, by a beautiful beach with palm trees in the background and like the sea lapping near him. So you probably would be happy if you're in that situation. That's probably but, his flat. Yeah, that's you know. that's just a normal day yeah, for him. It's just him. <laughs> um, but I think the fact that he's not being asked to talk for the umpteenth time about his music or about his relationship, he's talking about something that he's been passionate about since child. And you can really see that. And a lot of the interviewees, actually. So, you know, Pharrell and, and Naz and KRS One and people like that, they look happy to be talking about something different. Uh, but all of the talking heads are great. Um, Kid and Play, I used to love House Party. The weird thing is, um, Kid used to have the flat top. Do you remember that? Yes, that's that, right. that, uh, that high top fade fa uh, flat top. He now looks bizarrely like Tom Hanks. He looks like <laughs> he looks old and he looks like Tom Hanks, which was a little bit of my childhood crush. But they're in there talking about their look. So plentiful archive. You even see Channing Tatum. Look out for Channing Tatum back in the days when he was a model and doing the uh, the catwalk for Sean John, which was P. Diddy's clothing line. So a lot in there. I think it's really enlightening. I think it's really entertaining. And it, it is educational, but it wears that educational side very lightly.